Hi guys and welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. Uh, this episode was going to be a beer log, but it kind of got a bit special. Yeah. So we're up at Bear Republic, just north of Santa Rosa, and I mean we've always loved Race of Five. Yeah, man. Like for me, Race of Five was was definitely one of my gateway craft yeah, beers. Gateway so, yeah. like... so we were talking to a chap called Ryan, who's like the the, the, the manager, although he says he, he he's just a guy behind the bar. I think he was under selling what yeah, he does. He definitely was. The man li like lives this this brand. He, yeah, he, he loves does. it. We had the most amazing uh, chat with him, and then he led us to what used to be a field, what, 15 years ago? Yep. And is now completely paved over, lots and lots of shops, but also a bloody barrel room. So, Bear Republic have a barrel room, which, which is news. Is news. Serious news. Big news. Yeah. Um, so, so what's going to follow is, is possibly a slightly disjointed, we don't know how it's going to go, we haven't planned for this, a possibly slightly disjointed interview, me and Brad wandering around with Brian, having our minds continuously blown. Uh, this is uh, round zero of Bear Republic. It still brews a batch a day during the week, okay? But we were, uh, we did max this little brewery out in uh, 05 and 06 uh, with just under 10,000 barrels. So that what that breaks down to is pretty much three batches a day, five days a week, and, uh, it's a very tight and two times on Saturday and rest on Sunday. Thank God we have a Catholic family that owns a joint. So yeah, so they, they had they had quite a few guys running the crew, you know, almost 24/7 it seemed like back then. So everything that we have on draft right now, minus the hop shovel, so that's 21 beers on draft right now, is all brewed here. It's crazy, man. You know, you know this is only 30. Three, I've caught fish bigger than that, you know. It's like brewing in a submarine. It's got that kind of, <laughs> that kind of shape. I don't know, to... I've never been to a submarine. <laughs> you never brewed in a submarine? Yeah. Man, it's, it's terrible. But yeah, right. And uh, these came in, I would say, 2002-ish, and they came through that door. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so these are, these explain, are additions explain, since I've been the scratches up there. Right, yeah. <laughs> Let's roll it down the street and get it into the pub. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Before we get to where Brew Republic have gone since this tiny brewery, it's worth noting that the brew pub that was once their sole home is possibly the most comfortable, homely pub we've ever been to. Even as they spread their wings, their hearts remained here. It's quite a community place. It feels like out there, like the, the crowd are a bit older. This is Cheers. And what are they you get the norms, you get the, you yeah. know, you get them all, you know? Yeah. yeah. Are, they, are they Race of Five fans or are they, they drink across? They're, they, you know what, they're, they're a pretty diverse uh, community. Um, here in Sonoma County, especially in Hillsburg, we have a, a more sophisticated taste bud. You know, I mean, people like a lot of different things, you know? Yeah. You know I mean, when it comes to the Pinots and the, and the Cavs and the Zins and the Sauvignon Blancs and the Chardonnays and stuff, they all want different types, you know? And showcases on our board too when it comes to the beer, you know? I mean, our region here in Sonoma County and San Francisco Bay Area demands that. I feel so. You, you could so said, that's why we have we have an amber lager all the way to an imperial stout on on our production board and you know, our house board. And then on our specialty side, we have this collage of beers from a, a clean finishing double aqua medium pilsner to um, hop shovel, and then at the bottom of the board, you know, um, we have a, an imperial red. And a, and a barley. For me, I think Bear Republic has been just a trendsetter. Like, no one ever really had a beer like Race 5. Aromatic, balanced, mm -hmm. clean finishing, hot profile there, you know, around 70, 75 IBUs, you know. No one ever had that prior to Race 5. We were playing around with every 50th batch back in the olden days. Ricardo and his team, Ricardo, our brewmaster, would throw together a, a off-the-wall IPA, you know, it's like something hoppy and something malty and whatnot. And uh, they would call it 5-0 or 50th batch, every 50th yeah. batch. And, uh, and on the fifth attempt, 
with a little bit of extra hop in there on accident on the try you know. Uh, so this racer pie. Is it a slight mistake or was it just like just him pushing? There's it always oops out there in the beer world that yeah, makes a, a makes a good beer. Yeah. Now we've heard that line a lot in brewing, especially with wild ales. So I guess it made sense when Ryan dropped the next bombshell. With the brew pub busy, they were looking to expand and knew there were empty buildings in the same complex. Now, any beers that uh, that Beer Republic made prior to 2007 all came out of these two rooms. There was uh, kegs all the way up to the ceiling and, and bottles all the way up to the ceiling. And they had to empty that every morning and start working. So now this is our uh, our barrel aging uh, Cuvée de Bubba line, uh, wild program. Um, we uh, now have a, uh, a wild club, you know, we just started that up. Uh, what, what, what's a wild club? We have, uh, we, feature, we feature some spontaneous uh, cool. uh, fermented beers and whatnot and bottled and they get delivered and whatnot and you just sign up with the club and get six to 12, depending on the package of beers. In three different so, so niche, po postal sour beer. Right, and Amazing. we don't eat, and top it off, we don't serve it at the top. So some of these you got here, we have uh, my personal favorite barrel aged, the old Baba Yaga, Russian Imperial Stout, aged in cognac barrels. Um, we have some virgin oak, uh, custom burned uh, oak for Bear Republic, that we kind of do like a first run with like, a, let's say a Racer 5, New Oak, Racer 5, New Oak, Big Bear, or whatnot. Uh, we try, they're trying, well, they were trying, I'm, I'm sure they're still doing the same thing, trying to get um, all the different Appalachian wine barrels in this region so you can taste the region as yeah. well. I liked you saying about uh, takes a lot of beer to make good wine. I thought that was very good. <laughs> it yeah. does, it yeah, does. Good. It does. They drink a lot of it, especially during harvest. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, do they do it? They come in here. They're all like, their fingers are all stained. Yeah. You know, <laughs> their teeth are all red. Their tongue—I call them purple tongue devils. They come in and they're like, hey, I need a beer. You know. The um, the the British guy in you just clocked. Do you have cask? Yeah, I have a cask going on right now. Really? And it's a uh, Scottish Wee Heavy, and we aged it with uh, some local oak chips. In yeah. fact, Ricardo, the brewmaster um, and co-owner of Bear Republic, um, that was his homebrew recipe. His ho his That's the beginning of Bear Republic, is what's in that firkin right now. Well, You guys showed up on a good day. Firkin out. <laughs> hey. You know, don't know where I come from. And so, yeah. So that, I mean, that was that. That's true. That's a bit of history in the cast. Yeah, yeah. So uh, a lot happened just there. I, I, I and mean, that's an understatement. But uh, I really hope it was interesting. We certainly learned a lot, and uh, we're going to try some of the product now. Yeah. So Ryan was talking about a beer called Heritage, which was like the the foundation, the origin of yeah. their Republic. And this is this is it. This is heritage. So it's a it's a Scottish. It's a wee heavy, which is like a red ale or a barley wine or a. I mean, this is kind of it's it's a malt bomb essentially. Yeah. It is lots of caramel, breadiness like toast, that kind of thing going on. Um, but they've used new oak, so it's not like bourbon oak or red wine oak. It's just straight virgin oak. They call mm. it. Um, and this this was this recipe minus the oak was the original homebrew uh, that Ricardo the head brewer did. Really? So it's a little bit of history, and it's cask, which uh, in America is hugely forward thinking. Yeah. In the UK, backward thinking, <laughs> even though it's amazing. I mean, they've been doing this for twenty one years. Mm. That's mind blowing. Um, it's, bit, I mean, it's, it's on cask. It's, it's lively. It's fresh. It's strong, but it's not sticky whatsoever. Yeah. The oak completely dries it out. It's got a kind of popcorn finish, like not in a, a DMS way, not in a floor way. It's just that really fresh maltiness with lots and lots of fruit. It's it's a remarkable beer. It's dead quite full. Dolphin noises. You're getting dolphin noises, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Some good stuff. I mean, so, sometimes you, you there's all these breweries that have huge hype and you go to them and you're either mildly disappointed or it's all confirmed. And then sometimes you go to a brewery where you're just like, let's go for a beer, like we did. We'll go for a nice fresh race of five, we'll do a little beer log. And then the stuff we were shown, just like, 
how do we not know this? And it just reconfirms what we always say. And obviously, you know, we've done videos about Pliny and Heady Toppy while, while not being in those places. But drinking local is so important because unless you come to the Bear Republic tap room, you have no idea of the stuff that they're doing. Yeah, the, the, and it's magic. The story is, is the thing, isn't it? And mm. it's, it's all about being from Sonoma County. If there's a brewery that you don't particularly know that well, but they have a great beer and you're like, oh, I'd love to go try that one beer, just go and see what they're doing because it might well surprise you the other stuff yeah. they're doing. If you're making great beer and people know about it, behind the scenes they're probably making other great beer. There's not many one-hit wonders in this world. No, you don't. In I mean, brewing, you, it's really hard to be a one-hit wonder. Exactly. This place is testament to that.